welcome to the YMCA of San Francisco's Classrooms for All. My name is Sarah and I'm here from the Reach and Rise Mentoring Program. Welcome back to Intro to Mental Health for Teens. In this episode, we are going to demonstrate a technique for contradicting unhelpful thinking styles. We're going to put them on trial. Whenever you're having intrusive or unhelpful thoughts, you can imagine putting them on trial to prove if they are valid or not. So, let's go to the courtroom. Welcome to YMCA of San Francisco cl Classroom for All. My name is Christina and I work with MCA Rich and Rise Mentoring Program. I'm Elliot. And I'm Sarah. The trial is in session. Order in the courtroom. Do we have here the defense and the prosecution? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. We are here today to determine the validity of the defendant's core belief, nobody likes me. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Defense, you may present your case. Thank you, Your Honor. Today, I have three claims to support my belief that nobody likes me. To start, my teacher sat me down and told me that I could have done better on the math exam that I recently took. When I got home, my older brother, Corey, got upset with me because I didn't clean the room that we shared together. He told my parents, and now they've lectured me about it. Therefore, um, and given this information, I have come to the conclusion that nobody likes me. Defense, please stand down. Prosecutor, you may present your case. Thank you, Your Honor. We, the prosecution, will present our evidence which contradicts the defense's claim. While the teacher did pull the defendant aside to talk about their test scores, the teacher believes in the student's ability and just wants them to perform well and apply themselves. The defendant's sibling testified that they love sharing affection and care to the defendant. Lastly, the parent reprimanded the defendant because they want to make sure they understand right from wrong. Based on the evidence, the verdict regarding the defendant's core beliefs is that they were misplaced. The defendant believed that nobody liked them, which was proven incorrect through evidence presented by the pro prosecution. The statement, nobody likes me, was not accurate, nor was it fair. The prosecution has systematically disproven the core beliefs the defendant held, offering other thoughts that the better explain the facts. Together, we mindfully work through the core belief that nobody likes the defendant by coming to conclusions that better explain the facts of the matter. The defendant is liked by their siblings, the parents, the teachers, and their classmates, and their friends. Based on the new evidence, the defendant can move forward having formed a more appropriate and positive core belief. Thank you so much. The court is adjourned. But wait a moment. Thank you for joining <laughs> us in this trial. Join us at ymcf.org classroom for all for more fun classes. See you again soon. Bye. 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 Did you know that YMCA of San Francisco never closed? When shelter in place happened, we could no longer provide in-person programming. We quickly shifted to provide youth and family programming virtually. As early as April, we started providing on-demand activities in our YMCA of San Francisco YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to be making a geodesic dome. Today, we're going to be making a hovercraft. The science around this activity is really awesome. In addition, we have a regular schedule of activities for our youth and families to join live. We feature read-alouds, yoga, family Zumba, arts and crafts, drawing clubs, and more. So don't miss out on our virtual youth and family offerings. Visit www.ymcasf.org for more info and class schedules.